The wait is finally over, ladies and gentlemen. This video contains official PS5 gameplay running in real time, captured by Epic Games with their incredible Unreal Engine 5 reveal. This is no bait. This is no cinematic in-engine footage. This truly is the first proper live gameplay demo from the PlayStation 5, showing an incredible visual quality combined with detail and photorealistic lighting, which Epic Games promise its new tools can deliver. I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments section and be sure to watch the entire video because there is a ending sequence which is truly jaw-dropping. This demo has made me incredibly excited for the future of gaming especially with that new next-gen hardware because this is truly the first time we've been able to see this for ourselves. So we need to explain a little bit about the new technologies that are in this engine which allows it to look so incredibly good. Good. and that's two tools called Nanai and Lumin. Nanai is a tool that will virtualize geometry which means it will generate as much geometric detail as the eye can see. So that way film quality source art comprising of hundreds of millions or billions of polygons can be imported directly into the engine and it just works. As you can see there is no loading or popping of any textures whatsoever. It allows them to translate extremely high detailed assets in basically real time without a loss in quality and their new lumen tool is a dynamic global illumination tool which will work in real time for game development the way advanced computer generated graphics work for high quality animation and film production so you can create more dynamic scenes using it such as changing the sun's angle for time of day turning on a flashlight or blowing a hole in the ceiling and indirect lighting will adapt accordingly we get to see all of this in action throughout this demo which is incredibly impressive and to me looks a lot like a true next-gen Uncharted game would look like. But I think we can all say that this is the first time we've actually seen a game look truly next-gen in just how incredibly good this looks. Like I'm looking at it and I'm giggling like a kid at Christmas looking at just how insane games are going to look going forward when we have tech demos like this. Now for specific details on when this engine is going to be released for developers to use, it won't be released until next year, so 2021. But the company says developers working on titles right now using Unreal Engine 4 will be able to easily transition over to this new engine when ready. So what does it mean for us? Well, going forwards, this will help to achieve photorealism on par with movie CGI and real life and put that within practical reach of development teams of all sizes. Meaning in a year or so, any development studio that wants to use Unreal Engine 5 to create their games could achieve incredibly looking games like this. It is such an exciting thing and I am just so blown away and excited for the future of gaming thanks to Unreal Engine 5. For even more PS5 reveals, be sure to stick here on the channel by subscribing. I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments section, but I'm gonna leave you with the developer commentary to run the rest of the demo out and make sure you stay for the end because it is just truly insane. Be sure to whack the quality up to 4K if you haven't already and enjoy. Functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. <sighs> now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. 
Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, it's open. Don't fail me now. What's next? Might be.